Hi everyone, Michael Baltimore at Columbus State University. I'm here with Sean Cruzen, the director of the Coca-Cola Space Science Center. He's going to talk to us today about a very special event coming up. Sean, tell us what's going on. That's right, Mike. There's a kind of a weird event that's going to take place in the sky. In just a few days from now, the moon, or the full moon at this time, is going to turn kind of a weird reddish-orange color. And that's because there's a total lunar eclipse that's going to take place on the morning of December 21st. And I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, the Coca-Cola Space Science Center is there uh, to help us with this. And I understand you have a webcast for it, our viewers to take a look at coming up. Tell us more about it. That's right, we call it our technology team or our tech team is going to be working with our astronomy team at the Space Science Center to produce a webcast of this event. We'll be providing live images of the eclipse as it's visible from here on the East Coast right to our website and we're going to stream that out to the, to the global audience. Anybody who wants to join us on that night will be able to come to the Space Science Center's website which is www.ccssc.org, charlie charlie, sam sam charlie.org or you can find us out there on Google. Just Google the Coca-Cola Space Science Center. You'll be able to find our link uh, and you'll be able to follow it to our webcast as we provide live, Im live images throughout that entire event. Now, also some of our good friends at uh, spaceweather.com, space.com, and astronomy.com, a lot of space enthusiasts know about those websites. Wow. They're also gonna be providing links to our website uh, as, we, as we webcast this event to the world. And, and what happens is the moon, as it orbits around the Earth, it actually moves behind the Earth with respect to the sun, it moves into the Earth's shadow. And as that happens, the moon turns into a very, very strange orangish color. Now, the reason it looks red is because as the moon moves behind the Earth, it, the Earth blocks out most of the light coming from the sun. But some light, a little bit of light, still gets in through the Earth's atmosphere. And the Earth's atmosphere acts like a lens and refocuses that light, a little bit of light, down onto the moon's surface. And what light does come through the atmosphere, as you may know, the Earth's atmosphere tends to scatter out blue light, and it just lets red light through. This is why a sunset looks kind of orangish or red in color. Okay. So that red light will make it through, shine down on the surface of the moon, and that moon will turn an eerie orangish red glow again on the morning of December 21st. Wow, so this event is coming up uh, very quickly. Now, uh, tell us more about it. When will it happen during the hours, and yeah, what can we expect? Eastern Standard Time, That'll start happening around 1.30 in the morning uh, here on the, on the east coast of the United States. So 1.30 in the morning, you should start to see a little bit of a, a bite taken out of one side of the moon as the moon begins to move into the Earth's shadow. Then it'll become more and more gray. And then all of a sudden, you'll start to notice that kind of orangish color on one side of the moon. As, that's as the moon moves into the total eclipse shadow. Now, from about 2.30 in the morning until about 4.00, the moon will be in that darkest part of the eclipse shadow and should look that kind of orangish, reddish glow to it. And then it'll stay in that eclipse shadow till about 4. And then at 4 o'clock, it begins to move back out again. So you should start to see a bright side reappear on the full moon. And then from 4 to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon will move back out of that shadow and resume its normal look. Sean, I think it's a great event. I'm glad Coca-Cola Space Science is leading the way on this total eclipse of the moon. Thank you. Uh, Sean, for letting us know about this. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.